Hey everybody, and today I am in the pinball cabin and I'm making a mess because what I'm going to do is I'm going to install a partition wall here, leaving a doorway here to get through. Um, so at the back of this row of pinball machines, I've basically marked off where the uh, base is going and then I need to do across the top too. Then I'll put some straights up and then some support beams. And the reason I'm doing this is because I need to put up some wall mounted machines which I've been neglecting for several years and I've not done anything with. So I need to get them all cleaned up and working and installed somewhere. So I pretty much run out of space everywhere else in the arcade house. But uh, I can make some room here and that should be fine. There's still plenty of room between the pinball machines and plate room to get the glass out. So no big deal. And I will uh, start work on that and then I'll show you some progress. Right, so I'm just showing you a little bit of progress. So there were no beams here where I needed to screw this band. So basically I put these extension pieces. I made them a little bit bigger so it gives me the ability to adjust if necessary I can move them around. Uh, so basically I've put the first upright in and we're going to just spirit level it and we are dead on straight. So we don't know for sure that once we come, so once we get to here we don't know it's going to be dead straight so we'll remeasure as we do the uprights to make sure and if we need to we can unscrew these and adjust it. Once that's done I'm going to add some extra pots to, to make it stronger but for now three of them will do just so I've got the adjustability. Same with the uh, floor button, I've only got that screwed in three places. I'll put some more in later once it's finalised. That's a little more progress, we've got a couple more uprights in. So what we're doing is, we're marking 50 centimetre centres as we go along. We screw the bottom half of the batten in. We take our giant screw level, we basically get it lined up and then screw the top screw in. And that seems to be working out okay so far. Everything is pretty straight and uh, I'm just going to carry on and uh, get the rest of these uprights done. We also need to extend this, yeah, that's not finished. Um, we'll have seven uprights in total. Right, so more progress, as you can see, we've got another upright. I've put the piece across the top, piece across the bottom. And this was the hardest one to do, so basically I screwed it in from there, got this straight with spirit level up to here, screwed it into there, and then I've just adjusted this one, so that this is now square from this side. So we've got square from that side, square from that side. Now the whole frame is square, it's pretty much in the right position so I can put all the rest of the screws in and I've got, uh, well, I've got three, more uprights, uh, three more uprights to do. So the uprights are all done and now what I need to do is horizontals to actually mount the wall mounting machines on. So I'm going to have to put, because I've got so many of these damn things, I'm going to have to put two rows in. So I need an upper row which I'm going to put skill games on and then I'll put a lower row with gambling games on because most of them you can drop pennies in at the top rather than having to press buttons and look at you know look at the display so much. Um, so I need to grab a few of my machines and measure them and then I can work out where the horizontals will be. So there'll be four horizontals in total so there'll be a pair of horizontals for each row of machines. Right so let's have a look at how the horizontals are going to work. So what I'm doing is, be, the pairs will be 50 centimetres apart. Uh, the, average the average wall game is 70 centimetres high, so it allows for a bit of space at the top or variations in size, and then a decent screw grip into both the top and the bottom. Um, what I've done is angle brackets on either side, and then T plates on the other side. Now that is really strong, I mean I can't do it now because I've got the camera in my hand, but um, I managed to put my body weight on that and I'm fairly heavy, so that will do perfectly. I mean these games are like what, 20, maybe 30 kilos each, there's no problem there at all. So I'm going to carry on, so this is at a one, 170 high, um, and I'll do centre of 50 down, and then I'm not sure how much gap I'm going to leave yet, and then I'll do another pair of 50s. Right, so the first two rows are complete, all the rest of the pieces have been cut. I was actually quite pleased with my wood estimate, it's actually got just little scraps of spare, there's actually not a single piece left over, so that's pretty good. Um, I actually need to make a cowling for that fan as well, so I'm going to go and do that with the scraps, and then I'll come back in and finish putting this together. Right, my wall frame is all done now. So I've worked out the height that I want the lower supports and I've put all of those in and as you can see 
I've just started test fitting my first game, just leveling it off and I'm making sure I'm getting the heights right where I want them. And we'll get that machine mounted so you can take the front off, which makes, it, which makes uh, mounting the back box a lot easier once I've done that and it's level, which I think it pretty much is now. Um, I'll get the front on and we'll show you what that is. So there we go, the first machine has been mounted and this one is kind of a prized possession of mine as there's probably only a couple of these known to exist in the world still and I've got one of them, this is a restoration project I started working on years ago and I never kind of finished but it's nearly there, it's not far off got a few things to do like repainting the gun and some probably some electrical work left to do but it's basically a shooting game and this is super super rare there you go, game number one and then I need to get a gambling game now to go underneath it and then we can carry on